Hello, my name is Sophie and I am a digital native. And my name is Bob and I'm a digital immigrant. We were invented by a man called Mark Prinsky. The world has changed a lot since I was at school. Back then we had no computers and most of our study was from books and lectures. That's so funny in it though. I can't imagine having no computers. We didn't have mobile phones either, and there were only three channels on TV. No mobile phones, but how did you text your friends? We didn't, we just had to make do without them from time to time. Mr. Prinsky says that, because I grew up using video games on computers and mobile phones then I think differently and learn differently. Yes and not only do you think differently, but... It may be, that your brain is wired up differently too. It's just like I speak a different language, a digital, fast-moving language. Which for me is like a second language. Sorry, that is my friend texting me just a moment. Prinsky says that the traditional ways of teaching are not effective when teaching digital natives. He argues that we should adapt our teaching methods so that they are more in tune with the twitch speed, multitasking, random access, graphics first, active, connected, fun, fantasy, quick payoff world of the digital native. Sorry about that. That was my friend Jake texting to remind me to tell you all that because of the technology that we digital natives have grown up with. We are so much more connected than previous generations and that enables us to work collaboratively on many things. Now, where were we? I was just explaining how we need to change the way we teach. What do you think of your education, Sophie? Oh, it's so boring most of the time. It's hard to pay attention and often I end up texting my friends when the teacher is talking. Mr. Prinsky says that research into neuroscience and social psychology shows that the structure of our brains changes and adapts depending on the tasks we ask it to do. If I spend lots of time playing video games then my brain connects up differently. And that is why we have to teach differently. Prinsky says that using video games to teach subjects is a really good way to get the best from the digitally native learners. That would be a lot of fun, but how can we learn really important things just by playing games? Prinsky has experimented with this. He helped develop a game to teach engineering students how to use some new CAD software. The experiment was very successful. I wish we could play games in my class, it would be so much more fun. But Mr. Prinsky says that digital natives are in danger of losing some important skills that you old folks were good at. Yes, that is true. When I was young, because I had more time alone I could reflect upon the things I learned in life. Quiet reflection helps us generalize and make new learnings. Well maybe we could use blogs or social networking sites to help us learn to do that. Sometimes. Late at night I post my thoughts on Facebook. I think that this is like your reflection Bob. Maybe, anyway I think we have maybe said enough about Prinsky's ideas for now. Some of our friends on this wiki are going to discuss this further. Goodbye for now. Yes, goodbye. It's been a blast.